Okay, I'm going to use some features in Microsoft Excel here. Particularly, I want to use some functions that are in the uh, text function category. The functions I use are going to be to create some new cells of data here. I'm looking at the results for the 2006 uh, Portland Marathon. And I've got this one column in particular, the location column where city comma state is displayed. I would like to create two separate cells, one cell displaying the name of the city, one cell displaying the name of the state. So to start, I'll go ahead and create two new columns to the right of my location column. And I'll go ahead and call these city and state. Now, to get the city function, or to, I'm sorry, to get the city displayed, I want to use a function that will display a certain number of characters starting from the left of the text string. Since the text string begins with the name of the city, except for a few exceptions like this one right here, um, I'll just need to display some characters. Now, of course, the challenge is, is where do you tell it to stop? I'm going to start off by typing in a left function. So there's a function called left, which will allow me to display some characters to, you know, uh, that are in a cell starting from the left point. And I'm just kind of following the tips here. The text that I'm interested in is, in this example, in cell C2, shoreline, comma, space, Washington. And then I comma, and the second parameter is the number of characters I want. Now, this part I'm going to kind of guess at manually. Um, I can see that shoreline is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 characters. So if I were to type a 9 in, close my parentheses and press enter, I will get the city of shoreline. Now if I were to change this 9 to something like a 10, I would get shoreline in the comma. So I don't want to display 10 characters for this particular example. I want to display 9 characters. So the left function is pretty simple and straightforward. However, not every city is a nine-character city, so I need Excel to stop displaying characters or display only the number of characters that lead up to the location of the comma. So for the comma, I'm going to use the find function. So I'm going to modify my function here, my left function, I'm going to modify it. Instead of that nine, which I typed in manually, I'm going to use a find function. I'll go ahead and put in the opening and closing parentheses for that find function. So I have a find function nested within my left function. And within my find function, I'm going to find the text. I'm looking for the location of the comma. Okay, so I found the comma. And then I'm going to do a comma for my second parameter. So the comma in quotes is what I'm looking for. The comma, the second comma there is simply separating the, my multiple parameters of a function within text, within cell C2. So I'm looking for the comma. Now I'm going to press enter, and I see that I'm getting shoreline comma because I'm displaying text up to and including the comma. So my find function is right here, and it's not completely what I want. It's finding location to the comma. I really want to find one space to the left of the comma. So I'm going to put a minus 1. So the find function basically is giving me, in this example, 10 characters, because the comma is in position 10. But I want position 9, so basically 10 minus 1 gives me 9. So my find function, minus 1, will give me a position of 9 for this example. And now I have shoreline. And I should be able to autofill this down successfully. Perfect. So I've got all the cities, and of course, for this, for this one location that doesn't have a city, nothing is displayed. So that was pretty easy. I found the city based on... Uh, a, a, the standard format of city comma state. Now state, kind of similar, but instead of using the left function, the left function, we're going to use the mid function. Because I don't want to display characters starting from the left, I want to display characters starting from a midpoint. So I'll try this. Equals mid. The text that I'm interested in is in cell C2. The starting number, I'm going to guess at this first starting number, and of course I happen to know from previous experience that our comma is at position 10, there's a space at position 11, and the abbreviation for the state of Washington starts at position 12. So if I were to type a 12 in, that should be the beginning of the W in Washington, and then my third parameter is the number of characters. All of my state abbreviations have two characters, so I'll put a 2 in there. 
perfect. And there's Washington. And of course, you'll see it work for the second one if I autofill, but it's probably not going to work for Spokane. Okay, so now I need to head Excel once again, determine where that comma is. Because I can't just assume that it's going to start at 12 all the time, because different cities have different numbers of characters. So the 12 is going to be two spaces after the comma. Remember, my comma in Shoreline, Washington is in position 10. I want to start displaying two spaces after the comma. Therefore, I need to split, start displaying position 12 for this example. So I need Excel to find the comma and then go two places after that. So instead of typing in this 12 manually, I'm going to use a find function again. And within that find function, I'm going to find the text, the comma, within, in this case, cell C2. And I'll just leave it at that for now. Oh, that's not quite getting getting what I want. It is displaying two characters. It's hard to tell here. In fact, let me delete this one. It's displaying the comma and the space after the comma. So it's displaying two characters, a comma and a space. But remember, I don't just want the comma. The find function is finding the comma. I want two spaces after that, so I'm going to do a plus two. There's Washington. Autofill down. And there are my other two-letter state abbreviations.